Hey everyone, in today's video, we are diving into one video, an amazing free AI tool that lets you generate both videos and animations from just a simple text prompt or even a single image. Whether you want to animate a photo or create cinematic motion from scratch, this platform has you covered with text to video, image to video, and text to image features, all completely free. And here's a cool bonus, you actually earn free credits just for logging in or liking other people's content. So you are basically getting rewarded while you create. Let's jump right in. Alright, so first things first, we head over to the One Video website. Right on the homepage, you will see a bunch of AI-generated content made by other users. It's neatly split into two sections, one for images and one for videos. I clicked on one of the videos under the video tab and as soon as the page loads, the video starts playing. Right at the top, there's a download icon so you can save it straight to your device if you like what you see. Just below that, you will notice the prompt that was used to generate the video. And here's the cool part. There's a copy prompt button, one click to reuse or tweak for your own project. Even better, there's a use button that lets you take all the exact settings from that video, everything that went into generating it, and launch a new creation based on it. So you get the same setup, but with a chance for totally unique results. Next up, I switched over to the image tab and picked one of the images at random, just to see what it's all about. It pops open in a new window, nice and big, so you can really take in the details. Just like with the videos, you will find the original prompt and all the settings that were used to generate that image, which is super helpful if you want to try something similar. Now, to get the most out of one video, we need to create a user account. So I head down to the bottom left corner of the website and click on the login option. You have got a couple of easy choices here. You can log in using your Google or GitHub account. Once you are logged in, you will notice a little me button down in the bottom left corner of the site. Just above that, there's a credit button. I gave that a click. A small drop down appears. One video gives you 50 free credits every single day just for checking in. So I hit the check in button and 50 credits instantly added to my account for today. Now, let's check out something super valuable. I click AI video and from there, head over to the user guide section. This page is gold. It's packed with a huge library of sample prompts for both text to video and image to video features. You will find everything from basic prompt structures to advanced techniques, like how to write prompts that define shots, close up, medium, long, camera angles, low angle, first person view, and even cinematic movements like dolly shots, panning, tracking, or orbiting. It also shows how to set the visual style of your video. So whether you are going for cyberpunk, anime, line art animation, or even pixel game aesthetics, this guide helps you speak the AI's language. I highly recommend going through it. The more you understand these tools, the better and more detailed your prompts will be. And that means the AI can deliver exactly what you are imagining, with way more precision and polish. To creating our first video, from the left-hand menu, I click on AI videos. And this opens up the main panel where all the magic happens. Here, you will find two powerful tools, text to video and image to video. And in this tutorial, we are gonna explore both. By default, the panel starts with the text to video feature. So I go ahead and click on the text to video tab. Now, right at the top, there's a drop down menu with different AI models. The two newest ones are Turbo and Plus version 2.1. If you are going for top tier quality with smooth motion, realistic physics and stunning visuals, go with the plus model. But if you want quicker results, the turbo model is your best friend. Just below that is the prompt box where all the creativity begins. So what exactly is a prompt? Well, it's basically your idea written out in text form. I have already got one prepared, so I just paste it into the prompt box. Then, I click on Enhance Prompt. This is a super handy feature 
the AI reads what you wrote and generates a more optimized, polished version of your prompt. If you like the upgraded version, you can simply click Use it to apply it. Scrolling down a bit, we get to the Aspect Ratio options. You can choose between horizontal, vertical or square, depending on where you are planning to post your video. Since this is just a basic tutorial, I am going with the classic 16x9 widescreen format. There are a couple of cool toggles here too. Inspiration mode, when turned on, gives the AI a bit more creative freedom. It boosts visual richness, expressiveness, and overall impact, though the results might stray a little from your exact prompt. Then, there's sound effects. If you turn this on, the AI will add background sounds or even music that fits the scene, which is a really nice touch. All right, time to bring our idea to life. I hit generate video, which costs 10 credits. My request goes into a queue, and after a short wait, there it is. The thumbnail of our freshly generated video appears. I click play, and here's the moment of truth. My prompt was to create a red Lamborghini driving on a rainy road. And honestly, the AI did a pretty solid job. It definitely captured the vibe. Of course, with more detailed prompts, like mentioning camera angles, movements, or specific lighting, we can push the quality even further. It's all about experimenting and refining your ideas as you go. Once your video is ready and playing, there are a couple of handy controls you should know about. On the right side of the video frame, there's a download button. Just click it to save the video straight to your device. And if you are not happy with the result, no worries. There's a small trash icon in the top right corner of the frame that lets you delete the video if you want to start fresh. Now let's check out the image to video feature. It's where things get even more fun. Back in the AI videos panel, I switch over to the image to video tab. Under the reference image section, I click on the little plus icon to upload an image I want to animate. Once the upload window opens, I pick the image and let it do its thing. After just a moment, the image thumbnail pops up on the screen. Now I drop my idea into the prompt box. This will guide the AI on how to bring the image to life. Then, just like before, I hit generate video, which takes 10 credits. The request goes into the queue and after a short wait, boom, the animated video is ready and its thumbnail appears. I hit play to check it out. For this example, I used a 2D image of Angelina Jolie and asked the AI to animate her talking and looking cheerful. And honestly, the result is surprisingly good. The animation feels pretty lifelike and captures the vibe I was going for. Not bad at all. Alright, I want to share a quick tip that can help you earn extra credits. Here's the trick. If you like the videos you have created, you actually get 5 bonus credits added back to your balance. Let me show you how it works. First, I click on the details button for the Angelina Jolie video. I hit the like button and just like that, 5 credits are instantly added to my account. Next, I do the same thing with the Lamborghini video. I open the details, hit like again and another 5 credits. So just by liking your own creations, you are getting rewarded. Now let's explore the text to image feature. From the left hand menu, I click on AI images and then select 1 2.1 plus. Just like with videos, one gives you a choice between different AI models. I am going with plus for this one. A bit further down is the prompt box. I have already prepared a prompt, so I go ahead and paste it in. Below that is the style palette section, where you will find tons of visual styles to choose from. We will dig into all of those in a future tutorial, but just know that selecting a style will directly shape the vibe of your final image. Next up, I set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9 to get that nice, wide HD format. Then I click Generate Image, which deducts just two credits from my account. My prompt goes into the queue, and after a short wait, four images pop up, each with a different take on my prompt. When I hover over the thumbnails, a download button appears. I click on Download without watermark, and just like that, the images are saved straight to my device. Quick, easy, and super satisfying. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then don't just sit back, smash that like button, and share this with your creative crew. 
This is just a glimpse of what today's AI tools are capable of. If you are excited about turning simple ideas into stunning visuals and animations, you are exactly where you need to be. Subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell so you never miss the next mind-blowing tutorial. Remember, the future belongs to those who create with AI. Start today and I will see you in the next one.